Oh, what's up? It's your Rumi. So time for another uh, screen share kind of a tutorial style video. So um, this is going to be a demo for the uh, brand new ShareTribe Go uh, admin panel. Um, so uh, this is for everyone that uh, has probably seen my other videos I've done in the past on ShareTribe based uh, no and low code marketplaces. So I've done quite a few tutorials on how to build a uh, different uh, style online marketplaces using uh, ShareTribe's kind of no and low code marketplace platform. Um, so that's for if you're looking to build a spaces style, Airbnb style marketplace, such as like Studio Time that I started, which is the Airbnb for music studios. Uh, kind of products are good kind of marketplace, like a Goat app or kind of like a Grailed style marketplace, or even like a Fiverr style marketplace for offering online services. So your options when building those, and you can check out the uh, tutorials I've done in the past um, that I'll link in the description to this video, um, but you have a few options um, when building uh, those style marketplaces. And uh, you're gonna be, uh, one of those is gonna be ShareTribe Go, which is their completely uh, hosted uh, no-code kind of platform. And then also they have ShareTribe Flex. So for the sake of this video, we're going to do a demo and kind of like a preview of their uh, their new ShareTribe Go admin panel. And um, I actually, uh, so I run a marketplace founders group, uh, Everything Marketplaces. Uh, you can check it out. I'll include a link to that too. But um, it was shared in there that they have a brand new kind of uh, updated admin panel. So I, uh, you know, I try to do a lot of videos with uh, ShareTribe covering it because uh, I have quite a few people that subscribe to the channel for that. So I want to just go ahead and do a video showing it to you. Uh, so that way you could uh, kind of be the first to see it here. So let's just uh, jump right into it. So the marketplace that I'm going to um, screen share uh, for this video, so that way you can see an actual kind of demo for a live marketplace, is called Shop Uni. It's a shopuni.io is the actual URL. So I actually did a, a full tutorial walking you through step by step how to build it uh, without uh, you know any code at all in the past uh, using ShareTribe Go. Uh, here's just the site right here. You can see it. This is live just for kind of quick reference. Um, but in essence, you can think of it like a GoDap style marketplace, uh, like a Grail style marketplace marketplace or even like our, the real real and as for buying and selling um, products that so in this case it's going to be men's kind of fashion um, uh, like so everything from kind of art to um, you know collectibles to uh, even you know fashion whether that's like shoes or kind of clothing so this is the live site so you can check it out for an example and so we're going to get over here into this is right here the uh, an actual kind of uh, this is going to be the preview for the new admin panel um, that I'm doing this uh, entire video around. You can see it right here. Um, this does look different uh, from the old uh, style uh, admin panel. So uh, if you do run a ShareTribe Go Marketplace, then you're gonna be more familiar with this style uh, admin panel. So uh, you can see like the URL, the slash admin, over here, they have like the general. So this is all the general. So this is like when you initially sign up for ShareTribe. Here's just, just like the basic kind of like information and resources. Um, when you're initially kind of setting up uh, and configuring your ShareTribe uh, Go Marketplace, you'll kind of notice that they have these uh, different steps right here. And then they check it, it kind of uh, checks off uh, and, and updates that list right here um, uh, as you go through the different configure. So the configure is over here, all the basic details, design, domain, layout. So you can check out, uh, I've done extensive videos um, covering how to actually build one. Um, you'll see the manage section right here which is all the different users, the different listings, transactions, conversations, reviews, um, to email your users on your marketplace uh, directly via this, um, your shared tribe kind of admin panel. And then also the invitations right here. So this is the manage. So after you actually build, configure, you know, do any kind of customizations needed, um, launch your marketplace and you have initial kind of, you know, user sign up, um, adding listings or supply side, and then you have actual demand and transactions. You're primarily going to focus on these different kind of, uh, or this section right here and these different areas within your admin panel for actually, uh, you know, operating your online marketplace. So I just want to show this uh, old uh, admin panel right here. I guess we'll call it old because uh, I don't think they've actually uh, rolled out the new style admin panel. Um, they just shared it in the Everything Marketplaces group and let me know about it. So of course, I just want to be the first to kind of do a video and share it with you guys here since, uh, you know, I do a lot of videos based on ShareTribe and uh, try to share as much as possible. But uh, yeah, so this is the uh, current or kind of the old style. So we'll go back over here to the new one. And uh, now that you've seen the old one, um, if you don't uh, run a ShareTribe Go marketplace, 
uh, you can, you, you know, now you've seen it if you made it this far in the video. And I'm going to walk you through uh, this new style admin panel and then point out some of the primary kind of differences. Then even some of the improvements that they've made, um, that way it should help you uh, out more as a Share Tribe Go um, operator and kind of admin. So you'll see right here, this is the uh, main home. And to access this new style admin panel, you can actually just go to your the URL um, for your existing uh, Share Tribe Go Marketplace. And you'll see slash admin, just put in the number two, so slash admin two. And uh, that could be a kind of like a, a, a cheat right now until they uh, actually roll this out um, to all Share Tribe Go marketplaces. But uh, that's what I was told uh, I could use to access it. So hopefully you can uh, you do the same and access yours. So over here, you'll see this is the main kind of state on the admin menu. So this is the home. So this is basically, um, this is what you're going to see, not only if you initially kind of sign up for Share Tribe Go, but also to as an operator. Um, and so someone that's running, a, you know, an actual live marketplace. So a lot of this is not going to be super relevant if you've already um, kind of gone through the initial kind of setup process, con configuration process, and customization. Um, so you won't spend a lot of time here. Um, it does look pretty good, though. They have different modules right here. So you can see, like, the welcome, the quick links, which I think uh, is definitely super helpful as far as uh, even denoting, like, the day-to-day, -day, um, the payment section, transactions and reviews. Um, something else uh, in this, too, I, don't want, I do want to mention is, um, you know, in, uh, aside from just solo founders or solo operators, um, you know, looking to build marketplaces to side projects. Uh, there's also uh, teams that are, you know, using Share Tribe Go for prototyping or initially just kind of getting, uh, you know, leveraging their platform to get some like initial kind of product market fit. So this makes it super uh, helpful and uh, easier for the teams in that, um, you know, those that are not technical or maybe didn't actually kind of initially set up or configure the Share Tribe Go marketplace can easily access the admin panel and see what's relevant to them and what, you know, the kind of like what they need to, you know, to be able to do through the uh, Go admin panel. So this is the home. We'll go over here to general. So the general is like the essentials. Um, so this is just like basically going to be like the domain, um, some of the static content right here, and then some of your notifications that you can uh, set as an admin. So we'll go over here so you can, for instance, put like an email. Uh, it sends you an email as an admin every time a new user signs up or when a new transaction starts. So that's super helpful. That was a functionality that was actually existing in the old uh, style admin uh admin panel, but it's just like a different kind of section, different layout right here. So the design right here is something um, that is going to primarily uh, be a little bit more relevant uh, when you're initially kind of um, getting started building your marketplace. So like the logos and colors, cover photos, landing pages, top bars, footer, and then the uh, arrangement right here. So you'll see right here, like the how the listing display, user information. Um, so this is all also functionality um, that was, uh, you know, that was on the old admin panel. And it's just uh, the display of it over here uh, is, is just improved. So, so that's the design over here. So now let's go down. So we have the users, listings, transactions, and reviews. So if you notice on the old admin panel, that was the manage. So uh, not just when you're initially building, but when you're actually operating and you know the admin kind of um, different functionalities that you'll need to be doing uh, as you're running your marketplace. This is a section that you'll primarily spend the most time. So on the users right here, you can manage your users. Um, you can uh, change the user fields for the user profiles. So we'll click on this right here. So for instance, on the user fields for the user profiles, we have first name, last name, email, uh, profile picture, location, display name, phone number, uh, about you. And then we also have like Instagram on this specific marketplace. Um, that, uh, so that way it displays their Instagram profile. Um, a lot of resellers and like uh, men's fashion, uh, they typically reference their Instagram account. Um, so uh, for increased kind of trust and then also for taste, uh, basically for tastemakers um, to leverage uh, their Instagram account uh, through the marketplace. So we included that there. Uh, sign up and log in, user rights and uh, view invitations right here for the uh, invites for the marketplaces. So this is all also functionality that was part of the old admin panel. It's just uh, kind of changed uh, as far as like where it's displayed in the layout here on the actual kind of um, user, uh, well, let's kind of click off that, um, as far as on, on the, uh, the new style Share Tribe Go admin panel. So this is all the, uh, the users. So when we expanded uh, over here, as far as the listings, we can manage all the listings. So we'll just click on this really quickly. So we see all the listings right here. The different categories, the order types, listing fields, listing approval, listing comments, 
um, we can see all that information, which is all uh, information that we'll need to be able to see and edit and uh, potentially change as a Share Tribe Go uh, marketplace kind of operator in admin. Also, too, you can see all the transaction review and reviews, so you can manage them. Uh, you can view the conversations for the peer to peer messaging, you can manage the reviews, and then you can also configure the transactions should you need to make any changes. So that's on the manage section. So we also have the payments uh, right here. So as a share tribe, uh, go based marketplace, um, you can use PayPal and or Stripe for the payment gateway. So they just kind of um, have that right here for the payment system. Uh, the email is right here. Uh, so you can see you can um, basically send out an email to your marketplace. You can uh, change the welcome message, the automatic newsletter um, and you know the frequency and the content of that. You can also change like the social location, um, you know, social media right here. Uh, so it's really straightforward. A lot of this is, uh, is or, you know, these are things that you could do in the old admin panel. So there's not a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, overall like functionality improvement to that. There's some like minor kind of improvements. Um, so one thing that they have recently done, which I'm super excited um, that they have, because it was uh, previously not something that was that, um, you know, I don't, I believe it wasn't th that high of a priority, um, but as a marketplace, um, it is something that is incredibly important, which is SEO. So over here, um, you'll see uh, they have like the different, uh, you can, we'll go right here. So these, not only the sitemap, uh, you can see right here, you can change the landing page uh, meta tags. Um, so just click on this and then, and then basically you can also change it for the search page, the listings pages, category pages, profile pages, and then uh, also right here, access uh, some of the Google search console information. Also uh, Google Analytics right here. So you can see Google Analytics, Google Tags Manager, and also Share Tribe Analytics. Then over here, um, we'll just, we're kind of like wrapping up this uh, demo right here. Um, but uh, you can see on the advanced, so this is gonna be some of the custom script. So you can uh, add some custom script on your ShareTribe Go marketplace. You know, honestly, most of the ShareTribe marketplaces um, that I've built that leverage ShareTribe Go uh, do have some kind of customization right here. So we do have some custom script for them. So you'll see right here on the uh, the current live shop uni marketplace we'll go over here to the listings feed so you can see typically there's like a toolbar right over these listings these three listings uh cards and it would be kind of a toggle option for like a map view um a grid view or a listings view and so this is the best view for our marketplace since a map isn't really relevant um and it's not location based and you know since these are like buying uh goods online and shipping so i simply just changed that uh i just have a script that i uh, used and changed it uh directly on this kind of panel right here also too they link to the new features um and you can enable those when they introduce those to share tribe go marketplaces so of course i kind of uh selected those right here um more recently so i have like the new kind of top bar and then also the new layout for emails so i do want to mention too um, as I, well, as I mentioned uh, previously, uh, you know, this, this was shared to me in the everything marketplaces, uh, Slack group, which is a kind of marketplace, uh, founders and teams community that I run. Um, if you are looking for someone like the, uh, the custom, uh, scripts, so that way you can further customize your short marketplace, I actually have a quite extensive, uh, um, doc document that I've created that has the most common, um, uh, customization scripts for share tribe go so if you join the group uh then i will message you there with that um and then we have also have a lot of other uh, resources for share tribe go based marketplaces so anyways um i just wanted to uh basically just do a demo for this new share tribe uh, go admin panel so that way you can kind of check it out um, see some of the primary differences uh, and kind of improvements that they've made to this new admin panel um, if you are familiar with the old kind of share tribe go admin panel um, you know then of course you'll uh, you'll notice some of these are pr pretty pretty big improvements um, and should be super helpful to you as a share tribe go uh, marketplace operator so anyways uh, hopefully you found this video helpful um, if you did definitely uh, hit the like button and hit the subscribe because it keeps me, keeps me motivated to make these videos and then uh, comment below if you have any kind of questions because I like to answer you know uh, answer any of the questions that are left in the comments and also make my uh, videos based off what you want to hear next lastly too I definitely want to plug the uh, everything marketplaces group that I run um, it's about 350 marketplace founders and team uh, teams there and there's probably about 50 to 75 share tribe uh, marketplace operators there so you have a dedicated share tribe uh, and no code channel there 
So if you're looking uh, to learn more about how to build and launch and operate uh, a share tribe based marketplace, definitely uh, join everything marketplaces and uh, I'll include a link in the uh, description to the video. Thanks.